Hey guys, this video is going to be a book review of The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, the first book in the Mistborn series, which I've heard is part of a bigger series within a series sort of thing. The series, as far as I know, is pretty critically acclaimed in fantasy literature circles, and since fantasy is my jam, uh, yeah, it was only a matter of time before I ended up reading this. You could claim it was destiny that I would end up reading this and reviewing it like this. Yes. And now it's happening. The Final Empire takes place in a place fittingly named the Final Empire. The Final Empire was formed a thousand years before the start of the story by the Lord Ruler, who became immortal and possibly a god by defeating some sort of great evil named the Deepness. Ever since then, the Scar have been oppressed and enslaved by both the Lord Ruler's religion and the nobleman. The story follows Vin, a Scar street rat and member of a thieving crew in the capital city of Luthadel. After a heist seems to go exceedingly well, but actually tips off the church, which is basically the government, into the activities of the thieving crew that Vin is a part of, she's approached by Kelsia. Kelsia is a legendary crew leader who had to be caught by the Lord Ruler himself before he was brought to justice. Kelsia has since become a Mistborn, which is a type of allomancer, and allomancy is the main dominant form of magic in the Final Empire, only available to noblemen and their illegitimate children. Allomancy works by the allomancer swallowing some metal and then burning it to gain supernatural abilities. Different metals give you different abilities, such as pewter enhancing your physical capabilities, iron and steel letting you move pieces of metal with your mind in different ways, and copper helping you hide from other allomancers. Most allomancers only have access to the powers of one specific metal, but Kelsia and other Mistborn like him have access to the powers of all the different metals. And as it turns out, Vin is also a Mistborn like Kelsia. In fact, Kelsia wants to teach Vin all about being a Mistborn and how to use the Alimentic powers. All the while working on a brand new scheme that's seemingly impossible. Deposing the Lord Ruler and his nobleman. I was completely blown away by this book. I'd heard so many good things about it, I didn't expect it to live up to my expectations. But, oh my god, it did. So much. The story was intense, enthralling, and utterly magical. I could barely keep myself from reading it. I really loved all the characters, and most of them were in fact lovable rascals in one way or another. Kelsia, Breeze, and Ham, in particular, stood out very much to me. In fact, Kelsia's characterization as a man finding a greater purpose for himself than what he'd previously been subsisting on was particularly compelling. And of course I could hardly talk about characters without talking about Vin, who was, after all, the main protagonist. Vin was definitely a character that I would almost describe as properly paranoid. Like, she is just obsessed with being betrayed and being taken advantage of. And unlike most uses of that trope, we kind of got to see into her head a lot better. So we actually know what she was thinking and how it was working in her head that she was coming up with this sort of thing. But what I really loved about Vin was that her main character development was learning to trust people and to become vulnerable with people. And I love that character arc. It's a fantastic character arc. I love it so much. It's very, very good. I also felt that the world building was excellent, if rather limited. There were plenty of little interesting tidbits about the world extinct religions and cultures that had been killed off by the Lord Ruler and the Final Empire. But as I said, there was a limit on it, and it was that because all these things were extinct, or nigh extinct at least, it didn't feel like as diverse a place as it might have done. The entire world could have felt a little bit more colourful and diverse and just all over. But I suppose that seeing as it was an actual 
you know, oppressed society and dystopian, it, it kind of made sense. Another interesting thing that I really liked was the level of planning that went into the characters' schemes. Like, they relied on quite a lot of unreliable moving parts, but they managed to make it work in such a way that it felt quite good. They managed to use the resources that they had, meagre as they may be, to just create the unrest that they needed and to do what they needed to do. It was great. One thing that I did find a little bit jarring was the romance between Ellen and Vin, as I just, just, oh, I didn't really enjoy that bit. It was not a very great bit, to be honest. I hope it feels more natural in the next books, but you never know. Moving back to things I really liked about the book, I really liked how, when they were working out about the Lord Ruler's powers, it ended up being fairly reasoned out and actually made sense, and it, in fact he was quite a good villain in himself. I am quite glad that it happened the way it did with everything, because it really felt like the protagonists earned their victory over him with his death. It felt like they earned it. I really liked the way that the Alamancy worked and was portrayed in the book because it seemed like a really, really interesting and cool magic system and I would love to know more about it. So hopefully the next books will explain more. Another thing that I quite liked was the fact that in Alamancy it was actually fleshed out enough but with enough gaps that the actual things were able to be slotted in when Vin discovered them. I also really liked the way that each member of the crew was an expert in their own form of allomancy and that Vin can and does learn from. In fact, the moment when she realises what Keltia is an expert in is a fantastic moment in the book, to be honest. In fact, I would call it one of his crowning moments of awesome. So that's what I thought of this book. Tell me what you thought of it yourself in the comments. Did you like it like I did, or did you just find it a bit meh? Tell me below. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails above to see other videos by me, including my unboxing of September's Loot Crate with the theme of Summon, and my review of Armada by Ernest Klein. Bye.